Miles asks, due to a lack of shoulder flexibility, I have trouble getting my arms into the correct position in both low and high bar squat. Forcing myself into the correct position resulted in the impingement of my right shoulder last August. To avoid this happening again, I started to train using a cambered spider squat bar to try to allow my shoulder to heal. I have now started to try to increase my shoulder flexibility by doing shoulder dislocates and various other stretches. However, doing this has brought a lot of pain back in my elbows, similar to how it felt before the impingement occurred. Do you have any advice on how to improve my shoulder health to allow me to get under the bar again to squat properly? And do you think the spider bar is a suitable substitute for high-low bar squats? Kind regards. Thing number one, I don't have the slightest idea what a spider bar is. Do you guys know what a spider, you ever heard of this? Never heard of it. I've never heard the word uttered out loud before. I have no idea what it is. And, you know, I mean, if the manufacturer had bothered to send me one, maybe I'd have an opinion on it. But I don't have the slightest idea what that even is. I'm assuming it's different than a safety squat bar. We've got one of those. Looks like a safety squat bar. Well, I, you know, a safety squat bar is, uh, let's just assume it's kind of the same as a safety squat bar. All right. Uh, a safety squat bar is uh, a different type of squat than a low bar squat. It's more closely uh, similar to a high bar squat in that the back angle is the most important thing uh, that, we are going to talk about with respect to the squat. One of these shows coming up here pretty soon, we're, we're going to go into great length and great detail on the mechanics of the squat, similar to the, the way we treat this topic on Saturday morning at the seminar. And, uh, and I'll explain all of the squat mechanics during, during that discussion. But right now, let's just suffice it to say that uh, if your back angle is more vertical, as is required in a high bar squat and apparently uh, this safety bar squat you're talking about and uh, certainly uh, as vertical as is is required of a front squat because the front squat you have to have a vertical back angle on the front squat or the bar falls in the floor and it's no longer a squat right when the bar is in the floor you're not squatting it so the the high bar squat safety squat bar squat is uh, more similar in in mechanics in terms of the use of the hips and the knees uh, than uh, a low bar squat which is performed with a much more horizontal back angle intentionally so because of what we're trying to accomplish by training the most muscle mass over the longest effective range of motion when we squat Uh, but the the bigger question here is your shoulders Miles, and I'll tell you, you didn't tell me how old you were. Uh, you didn't give me an injury history or anything like that. So typically when we hear reports of uh, bony impingement in the shoulders and uh, an inability to stretch into the low bar squat position, we're hearing from someone who is an older trainee or someone who's had repeated shoulder injuries, impact injuries that cause bony overgrowth in the shoulder. Now listen, if you've got bony shoulder impingement, osteoarthritis in your shoulders, you can't go into the low bar position. You can't do it. You can't stretch bones. Okay? So repeatedly trying to jam yourself down into a low bar squat position, uh, after having tried it for about four weeks and it not improving at all, is probably indicative of bony changes in your shoulder geometry that are not going to be conducive to allowing you to do a low bar squat. If you can do the high bar squat, that's what you do. If you have to do a safety squat bar squat, that's what you do. But don't keep jamming yourself down into a low bar squat if it won't go, because that's dumb. You, you're not going to make it happen if you've got bony geometry problems in your shoulder joint. It happens all the time. I've got several guys in the gym that have to do high bar squats. And especially after a shoulder injury, it may be necessary to 
high bar squat or safety squat bar squat for quite some time until the injury heals. But if it's if it's osteoarthritis, if it's bony arthritis in the shoulder, it's not an injury and it's not going to heal. So quit aggravating it because you're not going to get anything productive accomplished. 